Hello, welcome back. If you can't hear in my voice, I am pretty sick. I got the after Christmas bug that has been going around. I feel like everybody has been sick the past like week or so. Um, a lot of my coworkers, um, friends, people in my family, and now it's come around to me. So I have had a pretty uh, slow couple of days in bed following Christmas, um, but I needed to film this video and get it out for you. So this is the follow up to a video that I posted about a month ago, I guess now, maybe two months. I don't even remember at this point. I guess it was a little over a month ago. And that video and also this one were in collaboration with two lovely folks here on YouTube, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. They invited me to do this five star prediction series as part of their book list Thursday series. Uh, both their channels will be linked below so definitely go and check out that book list Thursday series that they have and make sure you head over to their channels after this to see which of the books they picked were actually five stars and I just finished the last book for this so I was like okay I need to film this and get it out because it's going up for you all tomorrow morning so I apologize if I have sick brain and I don't explain any of this well but let's go ahead and get into these three books so the first book that I have to talk about is Una Out of Order from Margarita Montemore and I thought that this was going to be a five star because I've heard it compared to The Dream Daughter, The Time Traveler's Wife, and other like time travel books like that. So Una at midnight on every year she is transported to a different year in her life. So she's 19, then she's 53, then she's 25, then she's 30, and she just kind of bounces around each year. And this is just following her life, uh, taking these leaps each year. I think we have like seven or eight leaps. And um, I did enjoy this, but I felt like the middle got pretty redundant um, after the first like three leaps or so. They all kind of started feeling the same. Um, there was a couple of twists that were pretty good, but I did see them coming. And so overall, this was a good book. I enjoyed it, but I felt like I could have stopped reading at any point and would have been fine not knowing about what happened at the end because I honestly kind of guessed everything that happened and I guessed a lot of the twists. I mean, the twists like made sense. Um, also, I felt like Una made some pretty terrible decisions in a lot of these and I felt like she, and I feel like she kind of allowed herself to be a victim of her circumstances as opposed to somebody who really owned it and made the best of the life that she was given. And then at the end, I don't really feel like she learned a whole lot. Um, so it didn't go where I thought it would go. So overall, I'm giving this book three stars. So I enjoyed it, but not a favorite. Next, I read Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. And this is about a woman who is transported back in time to 1800. So it's set in, I believe, the 70, late 70s, early 80s. And she's transported back in time multiple different times to the 1800s. And she is transported back to plantation era in the South. And so she meets a lot of her ancestors. And she, and every time she goes back in time, this day is longer. This one started out strong. I learned a lot. It was terrifying. It was horrific. It was heartbreaking. But there was a lot of terms in here that we um, don't use anymore. Um, racial slurs and slurs about people with disabilities. And some of that I truly really couldn't get past. Um, I feel like the use of the R word um, in any type of literature just really irks me. Um, whether or not it was written in a time where that word was widely used. It just, I have a hard time getting past it. So that definitely affected my experience reading this book. And it wasn't just used one time and it wasn't just used during the 1800s timeline. So, so suffice it to say, uh, some things in this book did not age very well, um, but overall I enjoyed it and I'm gonna give this one four stars. And then the last book we have to talk about is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. And this one was five stars. So we did have a five star prediction that was correct in this video. So this is set in the 70s and it is about Lenny and her parents and her dad suffers from extreme PTSD and he moves their family to Alaska. And one of the coolest things about this book is that Alaska is almost a character in the book. It's beautiful, but also treacherous. And this family has to overcome a lot of hardships. And Lenny has to overcome all sorts of hardships, not just in Alaska, but throughout her whole life. This is kind of one of those series of unfortunate events. And something that I appreciated was at the end of the book, there wasn't like 
a tied up in a happy little bow they all lived happily ever after type of ending. And that's something that I appreciate in Kristen Hanna's books. Both books that I've read by her now uh, have had an ending that is pretty bittersweet, more bitter than sweet. And I appreciate that because that's real life. It's not, you know, sunshine and butterflies and we get exactly what we want at the end. So that was something that I really appreciated about this. Um, I really appreciated all of the living off the grid type experiences in this book were fun and interesting. And it just solidified the fact that I need to go to Alaska. It made me sad that, uh, that it made me sad that so many people suffered because of Lenny's father's PTSD and just the lack of information that we had about PTSD at the time. Um, definitely if it had been even 20 years later, uh, would have been a very different experience for Lenny and her family. And this was like a medium paced, maybe even slower paced book, but there was a lot of character development. And like I said, Alaska itself was a character that needed to be developed. And overall, this was just heartbreaking. It was a tearjerker. I sobbed reading this book. I actually had to pull over off the side of the road because I was listening to this book while I was driving and I couldn't even see because I was crying so hard. <laughs> Kristen Hanna has done it again, another really great one. And of course, that is just an awesome cover. All right, so to wrap up this video, we had a three star, a four star, and a five star. So all good books, all wins. I even feel like three stars might be a little bit harsh for Una Out of Order, but that's how I feel right now. Maybe in a couple of weeks after I've sat on it for a while, maybe I'll change my rating. But for right now, I'm sitting at three, four, and five. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head over to Lindsay and Sarah's channels to see what they thought about the books that they picked and if they had any five stars. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. And I'm gonna go back to bed because this is more talking than I've done in days. Bye.